Hey guys, today we're gonna be out doing some summer fishing for big walleyes. We're targeting not numbers today, but we're gonna go after some big fish, something that can be tough to do in the summer, but we're gonna show you kind of what we do to, to get them. So we're out here on the lake, we're pulling up on the first spot. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you what we look for for, for doing this weed bite. What we're gonna be looking for is we're looking for some deep water that comes up into shallow water. So we're pretty close to the spot here. I'm gonna show you my graph and I'm gonna show you what we're looking for. Uh, you see how right here we got, this, this is all mud flat. In a second it's gonna start getting, uh, the bottom is gonna get a little bit more solid and it's gonna start coming up on a hump. So you can see how it's starting to get thicker red. There's the hump right there. There's the hump, look at that. There's a fish right on the edge there. But it's gonna keep coming up and it's gonna come up into weeds. We wanna be fishing this edge right here. We're gonna fish all around this structure, fishing this edge for these big walleyes. Um, that, they're just, the, bit, the walleyes are just gonna cruise that edge looking for bait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a marker buoy right on the top of this hump to let us know where it's at and then we're gonna work that edge all the way around. So here we're on the back side of the hump. You can see it's dropping right back off. Possible some fish over here. But you can, you know, we're dropping right back. It's gonna drop, it's soon it's gonna start getting soft again. There you go, right there. It's starting to get soft. So right this area and all the way up, that's where these fish are gonna be sitting. The key right now this time of year is weeds or rock. Right here we had weeds and uh, so we're gonna now we're gonna fish this and see if we can get some. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using for bait here. Because we're targeting bigger walleyes, we're gonna be using bigger bait. So I've got an eighth ounce jig here. This is a blue and white, and we're using big chubs. These are these are at least four inch chubs. They're good size, and I'm just gonna skull hook it right up through the head. If it dies, it dies, just like that. But you can see how big that bait is. That's really one of the keys. When you're targeting when you're targeting big fish, using big bait can make a big difference. So we're gonna be jig fishing today, and I've cast it out here. I'm just gonna work this jig back to the boat. <clears throat> Pretty aggressive. It's midsummer, the water is really warming up. It's supposed to be 88 to 90 degrees today. It's gonna be pretty warm, so we're gonna fish pretty aggressive here. Just working this bait, hoping to get a big bite. We're the way we're fishing here, we threw out that marker. We threw the marker out up on the top of this shelf, which is it's it, it's kind of it's kind of a hump. We threw the uh, marker out on the top, which tops out three feet. There's a lot of really nice weeds, and now there's a fish. There we go, guys. There's a fish. Already hooked up. I don't know what I got here. I got a fish. Happy? Yeah. I got a good fish here, Mark. Already, guys, big fish. Walleye. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Grab the net. Grab the net. Grab the net, Mark. Good fish here, guys. Make sure we're rolling. Am I rolling? Like yep, nice fish. There we go, Mark. How do you like it when it happens like that? While I'm filming the intro, just showing you guys what's going on. First fish of the day. And that's a that's a nice fish for our first fish of the day. Got got him jigging. All right, so I'm rebaited. Big old chub on there. That's that's really one of the keys. A lot of people, you know, they want to get the big walleyes, but they're using fat heads, or they're using, you know, usually fat heads. But to, to get bigger than average fish, you gotta be on a big fish spot, obviously, but the bigger bait also is gonna make a big difference. Mark's hooked up in front of the boat. Oh yeah, nice eyeball, nice eyeball. Nice work, Mark, there we go, guys. That's a good walleye right there. Definitely a bigger, bigger than average eyeball right here. Nice walleye there, guys. For nice chubby ones. Yeah, there, there are chunkers out here. He just pounded that bait. When you're fishing these weeds like this for these walleyes, one mistake a lot of people make is when they hook a weed, they jerk the rod and they 
see how that rod's loading up and they just rip it right off the weed. What that's gonna do is when that bait comes off the weed, it's gonna shoot five feet away from the, from the weed. What you want is when that bait hooks a weed, the, when you start moving it, the fish, they're gonna see and they're gonna be checking that out. So what you want to do is just shake the rod and get it to just let go. Uh, hooking the weed attracted the fish and when you just shake that free, a lot of times that's when you're going to get the bite. So when you're fishing these weeds, you're going to get snagged. But when you get snagged, make sure you, you just shake it off and you don't snap that, that weed free. But when you're working, the, when you're working this weed, what you want to do is it's summer, you can be pretty aggressive. Get a pretty good snap of that rod, let it fall back down to the bottom and then just pop it. Let it fall back down to the bottom. And a lot of times you're gonna get hit on that on the drop. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna give that fish a few seconds and then wham, give him a hook set. Oh, weed. There's a hit. I'm gonna give this fish a little time. I, I got a hit. Could be a walleye, could be a nice pike. I'm gonna give him time. These are big minnows. Got him. Oh, this is a good fish. It's a good fish. We're gonna get some double footage here. This is a good fish right here. Oh yeah, oh, nice eyeball, nice eyeball. Look at the nice wall out here, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice wall out here. That's how you guys, that's what you wanna do when you're fishing these these nice eyeballs and the, and the weeds like that, that's that's the name of the game. When you hook those weeds, you don't just let that sucker bounce right off. But I'm gonna show you guys, that's a, that's a good fish. All right guys, so that's how we jig for walleyes uh, in the summer. We like to find those nice weeds coming up out of deeper water and uh, just work the edge of those weeds for some nice walleyes. We'll see you guys in the next video.